What up, Gavin? Alright. Is it recording? Yeah. Alright, dude. I'm gonna try to show you what a typical day looks like for me. It's not gonna work because, as you can see, it's already 124. It means I skipped a class. Um, but, there's still, there's still like, eight hours of sunlight, so we're good. Go down, down the stairs. That's what I normally do. See the sunshine? It's nice. It's very nice. Um, Alright, here's my zombies poster we made. There's a bunch of how to kill zombies. <laughs> Got it. Got a lot that do. Don't do do. Look at this guy. Look, look at this handsome, handsome thing. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube. See, this is gold. It's like a TV sh TV series. Annika and Lewis eat. But, um... Where we so, Zach, what do you think of life? What are your thoughts? Intuitions? Hopes? Life is about... <laughs> that's a, that's a great <laughs> message. What about you, Cameron? I don't have the words to describe it. How do you describe it? What was what your question? <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you what do you do in your free time? What do you, what do you like to do, Kevin? This year, or this semester. Work? What do you work? Um, I'm sitting around with Oh, dude, that's awesome. Do you know Jesse Diaz? They proved that, you know, my favorite one proved that geostrophic wind is non-divergent. Non <laughs> is that coffee or tea? Is that Dr. Pepper? Dr. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Neither. Stop making You guys it. share in a cup. Stop making it. I'll take it. my cup. I'll take it for now. <laughs> take a picture of my face. I'm taking a video. I wanted, you, I wanted you to explain the proof. Which one? Um, Wait, what whatever proof that you were talking what about. Wind wind geostrophic wind is non-divergent because it, it flows parallel to the isobars, the pressure isobars. It's the perfect, the perfect uh, resolution between the pressure gradient force mm -hmm. and the Coriolis force. They oppose each other. So geostrophic wind is that just like flows around. It's, you know how like weather tends to like curve inward across the isobars? And then, like, Kind of okay, well, you have, you have a low pressure and high pressure, you know, like that stuff in weather. That's what fuels weather. Yeah. You have a, you have the sun heats the equator more than the poles. The area of the equator rises. You get weather. And it goes in the surface. So, like, so basically, some areas develop intense heating, so it's an area of low pressure. And the air tends to flow from high pressure to low pressure. That flows down to pressure gradient. Right. Makes sense. So that that's the pressure gradient. That's the quantum, quantum not to. And as air moves along the pressure gradient force. It's not just going to go from high to low. You also have the Coriolis force, which force which turns it 90 degrees to the right in the northern hemisphere because it's opposed to motion. So, so like essentially, <laughs> that was weird, I don't know why I did that. And so essentially, it's pulling the air away at 90 degrees. So it's, instead of going straight into the low, it, 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 it moves in a circle. And you have these pressure gradient isobars. And so basically, I mean, like, that's like, where's I going? I'm picturing magnetic field and a yeah, wire. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Same. God is so cool. He does all the different forces the same. They're all the same. Mm -hmm. So it's not ever. The divergence is zero. Uh -huh. Like yeah. the magnetic field divergence is zero. Boom. Exactly. Like the B. 
Ampere's Law, whatever, not Ampere's Law, uh, uh, Gauss Maxwell, Gauss Maxwell's Gauss Maxwell. 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 Gauss 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 Gauss